Fancy Nancy, Explorer Extraordinaire by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Priest Glasser. Everything in this book is scientifically accurate. That's a fancy way of saying it's all true. Bonjour, everybody. Welcome to our club. Bree and I love to go exploring in the wild. We collect leaves, watch birds and butterflies, and inspect insects. If you're like us, then you can be an explorer, too. Love, Nancy. Bree and I are the founding members of our club. That means we started it. So far, we are the only members. Freddie and my sister really want to join. We say maybe. First, they have to prove they are mature enough. Mature is fancy for acting grown up. What does an explorer extraordinaire need? Essential. Long sleeve shirt and pants, so ticks can't get on you. Notebook and pen for writing field notes, baseball cap or sun hat. Not essential. Camera, binoculars, lace gloves, magnifying glass, glamorous glasses, rusty, little maracas for when we feel like dancing, Frenchie. Just because you're exploring doesn't mean you can't be fancy. I almost forgot the most important thing. Every club needs a clubhouse. It's absolutely essential. Here's a map of our territory. That's fancy for the places we can go. Rule number one, we can only go exploring in our backyards and Mrs. Devine's yards. Rule number two, nobody in the club thinks bugs are gross. That's just immature, which is fancy for babyish. First, we look for insects. Insect is the real word for bug. All insects have wings, antenna, and six legs. We see an ant hill, so we sprinkle some sugar. Voila, here come the ants. Ants love sweet things. Me too. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. What do you call a 100-year-old ant? An antique. That's fancy for something really old. My sister scribbled here. She thinks it's real writing. Rule number three. No touching, just looking. Ants live underground in a group called the colony. Freddie wants to help the ants back go back home, but that's against the club rules. The head ant is the queen, but she doesn't have a crown or anything fancy. She lays all the eggs. We see a lot of flies by the garbage cans. They zoom around so fast, Bree can't, couldn't get a picture. Flies can walk on ceilings because of sticky pads and claws on their feet. I observe, that's a fancy word for watch, a ladybug on the leaf of a tomato plant. This ladybug has one black spot on each wing. Once I saw a ladybug with black wings and red spots. Mom says it's good luck if a ladybug lands on you. But club members do not think that is scientifically accurate. Ladybugs eat insects that are bad for plants. Ladybugs I have seen. My sister is pointing at something. It is a spider. In the web, there is a dead bug. My sister says, yuck. But we explain that this is just part of nature. Spiders eat insects that are pests like flies. You probably think spiders are insects, but guess what? They're not. They have eight legs, not six, and no wings or antennae. Exploring in the wild makes us very thirsty and hungry, so we need to stop for and have refreshments. That's fancy for snacks. Nancy's extra fancy lemonade, a can of pink lemonade and water, a little cranberry juice to make it hot pink, raspberries to per cup of lemonade, a teacup to drink it in, cookies to eat it with. We do some research now. That means we read about what we've seen. Bree's book says we saw an orb spider. Here is a photo Bree took of it. Rule number four. 
Crying is not allowed, unless you, there is a very good reason. My sister and Freddy fight over the last cookie. We tell them if they want to go to Mrs. with us to Mrs. Devine's garden, they'd better stop. Mrs. Devine's flower garden is full of butterflies. Bree and I adore butterflies. A monarch butterfly. This is a giant swallowtail. And this one is a red admiral. I took these pictures. Rule number three. We never catch butterflies because they are fragile. That's a fancy way of saying they get hurt easily. Many people don't think butterflies are insects because they are so pretty. But guess what? They are insects. Plain, even plainer, chrysalis, caterpillar, fancy butterfly. All butterflies start from an egg that turns into a caterpillar. The caterpillar spins a cocoon around itself. The scientific name is chrysalis. I think that word is beautiful. So beautiful and fancy. And when the chrysalis breaks open, voila, there's a butterfly. I will probably be a lepidopterist when I grow up. That's fancy for a scientist who studies butterflies. Look alike. Is it a butterfly? When a butterfly lands on something, their wings stay up. You see butterflies during the day. They have colorful wings. Or is it a moth? When a moth lands, its wings stay flat. You see moths much more at night. They like to fly near lights. A lot of moths have plain brown wings, but some moths are very colorful. Butterfly Hunting Ensemble I went to a butterfly farm once with my grandparents. If you go to one, here's what you should wear. A hat sprayed with a little perfume to attract the butterflies. Bright colorful clothes so the butterflies think you're a giant flower. Part of Mrs. Devine's garden is for wildflowers. Wildflowers grow all by themselves without any help from people. You don't have to buy seeds or anything. Lots of wildflowers have such fancy names. Forget-me-not, Lady Slipper, Foxglove, Queen Anne's Lace. Oh no, look what Freddie and my sister did. They picked some flowers without asking. That is strictly against club rules. Mrs. Devine is not mad, but we are. Neither of them can be in the club. They are not mature enough. Lunchtime! My mom takes Freddy, my sister and Freddy home. We go to Bree's house, and after lunch we will check the bird feeder in her backyard. Maybe some birds are having their lunch. Cookie cutter bird feeder. You need stale bread, cookie cutters, yarn, and a straw. Make cookie shapes from stale bread with your cookie cutters. With a straw, make a hole in the bread. Tie yarn through the bread. Now hang your bird feeder in the branches. The tree will look like Christmas trees for the birds. Pine cone bird feeder. You will need peanut butter, a pine cone, cornmeal, bird feed, and wire. Smear peanut butter all over the pine cone. Roll it in a mixture of cornmeal and bird seed. Ask a grown-up to wrap a wire around the top. Hang it high in a tree so the animals can't get at the bird. Bree may be an ornithologist when she grows up. That's a scientist who studies birds. What makes birds special? Birds are the only animals with feathers. That's the fancy word for feather is plume. They also have light hollow bones. One of the reasons why we can't fly is because our bones are too heavy and we don't have wings. Today we see a robin and lots of sparrows. Sparrow, pigeon, robin. Why do hummingbirds hum? Because they don't know the words. Tee -hee! It starts to drizzle, so we go back to our clubhouse. We pretend not to see Freddie and my sister. We read about hummingbirds and learn many facts that are fascinating. That's even fancier than interesting. Hummingbird, the official bird of our club. They love red flowers. So far, we have only seen hummingbirds at the zoo, but they are still our favorite birds. Why? They are so petite. It's French for li Their wings are iridescent. That's a fancy word for shiny. How petite is a hummingbird? Without feathers, most are the size of a bumblebee. They can take a bath in a leaf. The nest is the size of a walnut shell, and their eggs are smaller than jelly beans. They flap their wings up to 200 times a second. Amazing! They don't hum. A humming sound comes from their wings beating so fast. 
Rule number six: We don't pull leaves off trees. Trees need them to make food. The rain seems to be stopping, but we wear our raincoats anyway because we look so chic. That is French for fancy and fashion, and fancy for fashionable. Goody! The storm last night has knocked off leaves for us to collect. I am practically a leaf expert. Trees whose leaves fall off are called deciduous. I love that fancy word as much as chrysalis. See the page on butterflies: elm, honey locust, maple, ginkgo. All the leaves here come from trees in our backyards. Ginkgo leaves look like fans. Mrs. Devine makes tea from the fruit. Trees with leaves that don't fall are called evergreens. Evergreen, get it? The leaves look like needles. Christmas trees are evergreens. Don't you love the wonderful aroma? That's fancy for smell. Evergreens have pine cones. Once I painted a big gold one and glued on glitter. Gorgeous, lavish leaf crown. You need leaves, glue, glitter, tape, and construction paper. Cut a paper crown from a piece of construction paper. Make a strip of the crown long enough to fit around your head. Tape the ends together. Put some glue on pretty leaves. Glue on glitter, tape, or glue leaves onto crown. Voila. A self-portrait. That's a picture of me drawn by me. Bree and I hear Freddie and my sister calling us. They found something, something exciting. Wow! They have found a baby robin. It has fallen from its nest. We can see the nest. The mother robin must be frantic. That's fancy for very, very worried. We call my mom, and she knows just what to do. She puts the baby back in the nest. Now it is safe. My mother explains that some animals won't care for their babies after a person has touched them, but birds aren't like that. Hooray for mom! My sister and Freddie jump up and down. Please, please, can we join? Can't we join your club now? Even though they broke some rules, they did find the baby robin, which is the most exciting thing we observed. So Bree and I take a vote. It's unanimous. We both vote yes. We make official cards for the new members. Just like us, they are now explorers extraordinaire. The end.